Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Now I wanted to get out this quick video all about Ample Sound's new version three range of bass plugins. This is a really nice upgrade and it's a free upgrade for version two users. Now it includes a new feature which I think is a really game changing feature. So I will be talking all about that in this video. So here we are looking at Ample Sound's Ample Bass J, one of four bass guitars in their collection which has been upgraded to version three. And I'm gonna be looking at some of the core features as well as the new features and one feature in particular which I think is a real killer feature. But before I get into that, if this is your first time here and you like this kind of content, all about DAWs, home recording, plugins and gear reviews, that kind of thing, then please do subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you get notified about my future videos. Now let's take a look at these bass guitars. <gasps> well, there's a lot to look at here. The four bass guitars I mentioned are the Ample Sound Bass J, obviously based upon a Fender Jazz Bass, uh, another bass based upon a Fender Precision bass, another one based upon, if you excuse this ongoing pun, the Fedora Yin Yang bass, and last but not least, a bass guitar based on the Music Man Stingray bass. It's a really different sounding bass that. I've prepared a little groove for you guys, and during that groove, I'm gonna be flicking from one bass guitar to another so you can hear the difference in sound and tone between these bass guitars. So let's have a listen to that. So there you go, those are those four different bass guitars and you can hear a lot of difference in the tone, especially with that last one, the Music Master Stingray bass. But let's get back to the jazz bass where I will be doing most of my demonstration. All of these features apply to all of these basses equally. So I can show you all this on one bass guitar. The first thing I will be talking about is the things that I won't be talking about, if that makes any sense at all. I'm not gonna be covering very much in this one, the riffer feature. Now the riffer feature is a really great feature for sort of creating your music and it's based upon looking at the four strings of the bass guitar there as well as adding some of the effects that you heard in there like string taps and slides, bends, all of this kind of thing. I'm not going to cover that because I don't use the riffer very much. I'm a bit of a traditionalist and I do most of my stuff on a piano roll so I'll leave that to other people to talk about the riffer but it is a really great feature, and if this suits your workflow, then you should definitely take a look at it. I also won't be talking about the uh, the tab feature. Um, this one is one where you can import tab in and play it here. A really great feature. I've hardly seen it in other uh, plugins at all, so it's a really good one. I also won't be talking about a very important feature for version three. I have covered this in other version three Ample Sound videos, and that is the effects that you get with it. You get a compressor with it, you get a really nice EQ, you get what they call an echo. I prefer to think of it as a delay, but it's called echo, and you get a reverb. I won't be talking about any of those things, despite the fact that you do get all of those things. Instead, I would like to focus on what I think is the killer feature and that's the amp simulation. So if I click on here, you will see the first of three amps we have available uh, displayed here. This is called the Vintage 15. If I go over to the right, you will see that we have another one called the Bass 500. And then we have one more, which is called the Bass Pro. Now they all vary an awful lot in their sound and features. So let's go back to this Vintage 15. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch that, bass, that amp off and I'm gonna play through the track. Oh, give me one moment. And I'm gonna play through the track with the drums muted and with the amp switched off, just so that you can hear the bass guitar direct in. Have a listen. <laughs> So that's the sound with it direct in. Now let's switch on the amp and hear the difference. So 
So you can instantly hear a really, really nice warm tone there, as you may expect, especially from what I think is based upon an old valve amp. Now there's two variation on this amp. There's the 1966 and the 1964 version. I assume there's a difference in tone. I can't hear it that much, to be honest with you, but some people's hearing is much, much better than mine. What I do like about this particular amp, apart from the sound, and it is my favorite in terms of sound, is the simplicity of the controls. So essentially, if I've got this switched on the 1966 version here. Um, I've just got a volume, a bass, and a treble control. Let's have a listen as I play around with those. Mm. So a nice straightforward way of getting your difference in tone. So that is the older vintage 15 amp. Let's go across to the bass 500. Now, if I play it right away, you'll hear a difference in tone straight away, but you do actually have some other features. But first of all, let's do have a listen. Mm. So you can hear it's a slightly edgier, sort of harder tone. So as you can see, the first thing that stands out is you do have a multi-band EQ here. And then you have things like the gain control, bass, ultra mid treble, and the master control. Yeah, I played around with the gain control earlier and it makes a, a huge difference to the sound, makes it really aggressive. Have a listen. Mm. And you get that nice noise in there as well, which I think is a really nice detail always when you're doing amp simulations. I'll go across to the last of the three amps, and this is the Bass Pro. Again, a different basic sound. Again, you do get the EQ, but you also get a compressor, limiter, that kind of thing. Let's have a listen to this amp without playing with the controls yet, and then I'll mess around with the controls so you can hear some of the differences. Mm. So you can play around with that till your heart's content. It really is good in terms of creating very, very different tones. Now, that's the amp side of things. But what's really cool about this is when we start to look at cabinet and microphone placement. So I'll click over here on the cabinets. So as well as the amp that we've got selected over here, which is again the vintage one, we can now select different cabinets and microphones. So I'm gonna start off with the cabinets over here. We've got a one by 15, we've got a two by 10 speaker configuration, we've got a four by 10 speaker configuration and an eight by 10. So let's start off with that one big 15 inch speaker and have a listen to that and I'll switch through the others so you can hear the difference. Oh, I like the last one. Okay, so you get that change in tone, of course, when you have got different speaker setups. You can then play around with microphones. You've got two microphone channels. The, um, both of them have four microphones each. They have two dynamic microphones and two condenser microphones to choose from. Then you can have both of them switched on, have different microphones. You can pan them left, right, all of that good stuff. But I'm going to play through just playing, changing the microphones here so you can hear the difference in tone. Now, if you're just listening on basic equipment or you've got this just playing through your phone speaker, you either won't hear it much at all or you certainly won't hear much difference. You'll want to be listening through monitors or through some decent headphones to hear the differences there. They are there and they're very subtle as you may expect. So you can then go on and mix all that up with uh, a different microphone on one side to the other. You can turn on a room mic and then you can also mix in the 
DI as well, creating so many options. If you can't find your own tone amongst all of this, then you're simply not trying hard enough. So let's have a listen, and I'm gonna play around with the drums back in again, and I'm just gonna mess around with this mix so you can hear the changes. So folks, I hope you found that useful and exciting. Now check out the link in the description below to see Ample Sound's range of products. And if you did like this video, then please do take some time to hit the like button. If you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button twice. If you do like this kind of content, then please do subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you get to see my future videos. Videos like these ones here. You could click on them now, couldn't you? See ya.